Everybody in life deserves to have a purposeful life. It's easy to say and hard to do. I just find it impossible not to go after your dream. My question to everybody in the audience is, have you ever been through a tough time? And if you don't raise your hand, then you're lying. Because everybody at some scale has been through a tough time, whether it's a divorce, somebody who's died, cancer, disease, you know, whatever it is, been fired from a job, everybody has gone through a tough time. And the question is, what do you do about it? And that has happened to me several times. My package may look nice and shiny, former NFL player, successful businesses, climbing mountains, but we all have our internal struggle. And I think the real question is, how do you get out of that? Millen gonna pass for it. Blitz coming. He gets rid of it, throwing long. Patterson wide open. It's up. He's got it at the 30. Mark Patterson's going all the way. Touchdown, Washington. Playing in the NFL is a very challenging thing to do. It's the top 1%. I had to go in the weight room and work out on the weights run the stairs, be there when nobody else was around, in the rain, on my back, miserable. And so because I was prepared by my third year at the University of Washington, when the opportunity came up, I put myself in a position to play and everything went the way I wanted it to go because I'd worked, but I'd worked that process. After that, I started businesses. I was relentless. I was the first guy up the last guy to leave, the guy that no matter what was happening would not give up. Five years ago, I was going through a very challenging time uh, personally. My wife wanted to move down to back to California. We're working through counseling and doing a variety of different things to try to make the marriage work, but it just wasn't happening. So I went from hero to zero, and that was a hard thing to do. I was walking around the block with my chocolate lab asking how did I get here and then one day I had a complete new mind shift the new mindset was what am I going to do about it and I wanted to do something that was spectacular I found and discovered that that no NFL player had ever climbed the seven summits I wanted to be that guy we're about the midpoint you can see up we're currently at 9,272 feet. We're 13,914 feet. The seven summits are the seven highest peaks on the seven different continents. It's been so gratifying to go down that journey, not just about summiting these different mountains, which I've done, but also going to the different countries, interacting with the culture, meeting different people from around the world. And that's really what this whole journey has been about for me. When I went through this whole mind shift, I had to go back and remember all the things that got me to succeed in the NFL, succeed in college, and succeed in these different businesses that I'd started. And that really was my own module, which is called the Seven Summits of Success. It's really about a roadmap towards accomplishment. The word summits actually represents the acronym of accomplishment, the S representing the seed, the idea of anything that you want to do, the U representing now you have to unleash that plan, then you have to move, then after that you have to measure it, then of course after you measure you want to improve, you can't just stay where you've been. Then things happen to you and you have to traverse, right? And by the end of that and you get through it and you stay on that same course, you get to the end and you summit. And to me that's success and that's really about paying it forward. I was invited to go down to Tanzania to help raise money and awareness to build water wells for the people of the Maasai tribe. And when you pay it forward, you've had success and then you can go back and help others. It's something that I tell my kids every single day is this, it takes a little more to make a champion. That's the key element in all this. It's simple, but it's profound. You need to take the steps that are gonna make you a champion in whatever thing that you're gonna do, whether you're in sales, whether you're climbing mountains, you're trying to achieve different sports. The seven summits of success roadmap is all there. If you follow these different strategies that I can teach you, then you too can make your own way and make your own impact. Everybody in life deserves to have a purposeful life. And that is not that easy. It's easy to say and hard to do, but I, I just find it impossible not to go after your dreams and far too many people give up on those. And so what I'm here to do is help inspire those people to not give up on those dreams, to get after it and find what their purpose is so they can lead a very purposeful life.